Good evening. It is actually 9.30 in the evening at, at night. Anyway, this is Brother Charlie's cooking show. I welcome you. Tonight, I've made, and I'm still making, what we call pizzelles, the Italian Christmas cookie. So, I will show you how it's done. First of all, I will read the ingredients because I've already, already mixed a bowl of the ingredients. Here's the recipe, the ingredients. A pizzell iron, well, that stands for reason. <laughs> you have to have an iron to, to cook them. Anyway, so here's the rest of the ingredients. Two, uh, six eggs, six eggs. Now we're, uh, I had two separate bowls, one for the wet ingredients and one for the dry. Six eggs, two teaspoons of anise oil, They've got a small bottle in parentheses for some reason. I didn't have anise oil, but I did have the extract. I have the, oh wait, that's vanilla. We need that too. Anyway, the, I threw it away. Oh well, you don't have to see the bottle anyway. Uh, so there we are. Uh, special, uh, particularly, you should use the anise oil because my friend Roseanne, she said that the oil, it tastes a lot stronger than the anise. The anise. Two teaspoons of anise oil, three cups of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of oil. I used, uh, what do you call it? Canola oil. And one teaspoon of vanilla, which is, I'm out of, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Plus, you may add, which I did, one cup of whiskey. Or, no, no, one cup. What am I saying? That's too strong. A half a cup. You don't want to get drunk on eating pizzelles. So, anyway, one half cup of whiskey, which makes it crisp, more crisp, crispy. So, there's the ingredients. I'll go over it one more time. Six eggs, two teaspoons of anise oil, three cups of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of oil, one teaspoon of vanilla, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of whiskey for crispiness. Crispness. Here's the directions. Mix the dry ingredients in a bowl. Make a well and add your eggs, your six eggs whipped and, uh, and the wet ingredients, all the other wet ingredients. And then you mix it until it's smooth. And then you drop by tablespoons onto your pretzel iron. Let cool and sprinkle with powdered sugar, which I have in this little thing here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it on the floor. Anyway, I don't know if you can see. I've made several already, if you can see that. Can you get that look? Can you get a, <laughs> could a good look? <laughs> so, here's how we do it. The iron's been hot for a while. And I spray it every now and then, maybe every third time, with a little of the kitchen spray. A little bit. And then you take your tablespoon, drop onto the hot iron with your tablespoon, about that much, tablespoons or so. On each one, they make two at a time. That's about right, about yay. You don't want to overload that tablespoon, or your your dough or your blended mix here, your dough is going to overflow onto the sides of the iron. That's about right. You, you don't want an overflow, okay? Press it down. Unfortunately, this did have a latch on it, this hot pizzell iron, but it broke. I don't know how I broke it. It wasn't that hard to break, I suppose. I can break things pretty easily. So I press down with it. It's usually not too hot, that plastic, but if it is hot, you can always put on your little mitt here. And I hold it down, and uh, I, I was never sure, is the green light, does that mean it's done, or does that mean it's ready to go? <laughs> it's green right now, so it couldn't be done. I just put it in there. <laughs> anyway, I guess when it turns red, it's, it's ready to stop. I don't know. You can figure it out, maybe. Anyway, I just I leave it in there until I figure it's done. Sometimes I peek, of course. 
like now, will be. No, it's nowhere near being done. <laughs> Still raw. You don't want raw, you don't want the raw pit cells. I think when it starts steaming is another sign of when it's done. And there it is. There's two in there. There you are. You got the ingredients up again? I actually, you could use a, uh, like the electric mixer, but I just use the big bowl, put, put the, made the well with the dry ingredients and put all the wet ingredients in and mixed it with a, a thing, a whipper. I mixed it with a whipper. And it did, it did okay. It kind of wore my, my, my muscle out, but it's a pain in the shoulder. And that's, that's not unusual for my age. I got a spring whatever anymore. <laughs> I'm not young anymore. Sometimes I think I am, but I'm not, because I can tell by my bones, my aching bones and my my pain. <laughs> Arthritis and everything else sometimes. All those health problems when you get to be 74. Almost, they're almost done. Yeah, almost. And then I'll show you what they look like when they when they're done. When these are done. You don't want to over brown them, you know what I mean? The, actually the last two I made I was I went to get the camera <laughs> and the bottle of whiskey to show you. And when I came back, they were way too dark. Way too dark. I had to throw them out in the garbage. They're somewhere in there. <laughs> There. That's what an overdone Pitzel looks like. <laughs> I don't want it. I break my teeth. So anyway. Perfect. These are perfect. There you are. It's probably pretty hot. Ow! It is. It's too hot to hand. It's too hot. <laughs> when, I don't know if you can see there. That's perfect. Oh! Well, if nobody's looking, I could keep it, couldn't I? <laughs> That's what Julia Child would do. Anyway, I won't, I'll save it. Give it to the, we don't have a dog. Can't give it to the dog. Anyway, there you go. There, that's perfect. You don't want to overcook them. And then sprinkle your little, uh oh A little, this little strainer. I, I sprinkled powdered sugar on with it. Perfect. So there you are. That's how you make Italian pizzas. They're great for Christmas time. And uh, try to find the oil. I, I don't know where to find the uh, the anise oil. I don't know. It's easy to find the uh, the the extract, but the oil. I don't know. I'll have, maybe I'll look at Myers. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching Brother Charlie's Cooking Show. Have a very merry, blessed Christmas and the greatest new year of all the Lord's blessings upon you. May the newborn Savior grant you much peace. Thank you very much for watching my show. <laughs> and enjoy your pizzelles. God bless. <laughs>